Alrighty, so this is one that we built out pretty recently here for one of our longstanding clients. Um, and it's essentially a path to use Zoho Analytics as a data source to display real data about your operations on your website. Um, so you might ask right out of the gate, why would you want to do that? Um, but there's actually some cases, right, with, you know, people maybe in real estate who want to show, you know, how many sales have they processed? How many purchases have they processed? How many leases have they placed, right? To kind of build trust with customers. Uh, maybe you're in mergers and acquisitions, right? And want to pull in things like your average deal size, your average time to complete a sale or purchase of a company. Uh, maybe you're in insurance, right? And you want to show how many claims you've processed and your success rate and your geographies that you serve. Um, so this implementation, kind of a simple V1 of this for one of our clients where our goals were really to figure out for a real estate client, you know, how many buys, sells, and leases have they worked um, throughout the history of their company. And there's obviously a lot of different ways to format and structure this data um, within CRM. Um, but again, keeping in mind that our end goal is to get this onto the client's website uh, presentable to uh, you know prospective clients. And so one way to do this would be to create a dashboard in analytics natively and then just embed that on the web side of the house. Um, in this case, that wouldn't have really matched the look and feel that the client wanted. They wanted to make sure that it looked super on brand and just you know perfectly matched everything else that was on their website. So what we did instead is essentially use analytics to organize a nice clean data table that contains basically the most up-to-date versions of all of the relevant uh, data that we want to display. And then we set up a little scheduled function that will grab that data and write it over to an endpoint that their web developers stood up on the WordPress side of the house to essentially capture that data. Um, then on the website, they can go ahead and just automatically update that to their homepage, and they'll now have those metrics displayed out for future prospects. Um, I think this is a pretty cool implementation, really just because a lot of businesses do like to put those metrics up on the homepage. And this is a cool way to, to use extremely accurate data that's very real and you know you're being very honest with your customers there isn't even rounding in this you know you could get as specific as we've done 572 leases right to that level of granularity and it's pretty exciting to be able to share actual real data from your real system um just directly out to the website that's pretty cool are they using like advanced fields on that do you know on the web on the wordpress side is that how exactly they're it is using on the website of the house um but yeah, basically stands up a quick little endpoint for us to drop some data. That is really slick. I mean, we're seeing this more and more. We've been working on some ex clients where you've got a WordPress site, you've got CRM data, you want to push that directly, and we're doing that now. And there's some really cool ways around formatting and doing those kind of things. And uh, this is uh, very, very slick. All right. And this is 100% you, Tyler. I see we have no... Oh, this is one that... Uh, I actually put this one together. The... the nice. Increasingly rare. A lot of these used to be me, um, but now this is a kind of a callback to a previous stage. <laughs>